question is why can god not take a human form brother asked the question that why can god not take a human form if god wants he can take a human form but the moment he takes a human form he ceases to be god because god and man they are two opposites man is mortal god is immortal you can't have a mortal and immortal person at the same time man has a beginning god has got no beginning you can't have a person who has a beginning and no beginning at the same time man has an end god has no end so you can't have a person having an end and no end at the same time it doesn't make sense so you can't have a god man you can either have god or you can have man you can't have a god man so if god takes human form he ceases to be god he becomes human being because man requires to eat god does not require to eat the quran says in surah anam chapter 6 verse number 14 that he feedeth everyone but doesn't require to be fed the human beings they require rest they require sleep the quran says in ayatul kursi chapter number 2 verse number 255 which was also recited by the qari brother shaf mohammadi allah la ilaha illa hayyul qayyum la ta khudhu sunatan wala nawm law ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard allah he is one and only the self existing the eternal no slumber can seize him not as he requires sleep to him belongs everything in the heaven and the earth therefore god when he takes the human form he ceases to be god you can't have a god man together and if a god becomes human being and gives up his quality and becomes man why should you worship a human being because he has same power than you and me people will want to worship you and me also then what is the use of worshiping a person who has same powers like you and me and later on if someone tells me the same human being became god it's not possible if human beings can become god even you and i would become god tomorrow therefore if allah wants he can become a human being but he will cease to be a god therefore allah will never want to become a human being allah can tell a lie if he wants but he will never tell a lie because to lie is ungodly the moment he lies he ceases to be god allah can do injustice if he wants but he will not because to do injustice is ungodly as the holy quran says in surah nisa chapter 4 verse number 40 that allah subhanahu wa taala is never unjust in the least degree so if he does injustice he ceases to be god allah subhanahu wa taala if he wants he can make a mistake but he will not make a mistake because to make mistake is ungodly the quran says in surah taha chapter number 20 verse 52 that allah does not make mistake allah does an err so if he makes a mistake he ceases to be god allah can forget if he wants but he will not forget because forgetting is an ungodly act the quran says in surah taha chapter 20 verse 52 Allah doesn't make a mistake neither does he forget the moment he forgets he ceases to be god therefore the holy quran says inna allaha ala kulli shay'in qadeer verily allah has power over all things in several places in surah baqara chapter 2 verse number 106 in surah baqara chapter number 2 verse number 109 surah baqara chapter 2 verse number 284 surah al imran chapter number 3 verse 29 Surah Nahl chapter 16 verse 77 in Surah Fatir chapter 35 verse number 1 Allah says in Allah ala kulli shay'in qadeer for verily Allah has power over all things but Allah only does godly things he doesn't do ungodly things because Quran says in Surah Buruj chapter 85 verse number 16 Allah is the doer of all he intends whatever Allah intends he can do but he only intends godly things this theory of god becoming a human form is called as anthropomorphism almighty god taking a human form and most of the major religions sometime or the other they have in their philosophy that god has taken a human form some religion once 
some several times. And they have a very beautiful logic for that. They say that God Almighty, He is so pure, He is so holy, He doesn't know regarding the feelings of the human beings, regarding the shortcomings, the difficulties a human being can have. He is so holy and pure. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't know how does the human being feel when he's hurt? How does he feel when he gets into trouble? So therefore, God Almighty came in the form of a human being in this world to set the rules for the human being. On the face of it, very good logic. But I tell these people that if I manufacture a tape recorder, do I have to become a tape recorder to know what is good or what is bad for the tape recorder? No. I just write an instruction manual. When you want to play the audio cassette, put in the cassette, press the play button. When you want to stop, press the stop button. Write an instruction manual. I don't have to become a tape recorder to know what is good or what is bad for the tape recorder. Similarly, when Almighty God is our creator, he doesn't have to become a human being to know what is good or what is bad for the human being. He sends an instruction manual. And the last and final instruction manual for the human beings is the Holy Quran. The Holy Quran is the last and final instruction manual for the human beings. The do's and don'ts for the human beings. And he need not come down in this world as a human being to give us the instruction manual. What does he do? He chooses a man amongst men to deliver his message, whom we call as messengers or prophets, who he communicates on a higher level through the revelation. It is so clear cut to any logical person that God Almighty cannot take human form. But any fool can also understand. That is the reason the Holy Quran says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 18 Summum, Bukmun, Umyun, Formula, Erjun, the deaf, the dumb, the blind they will not come to the true path. And the Bible gives the same message. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 13, verse number 13, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Rig Veda also gives the same message. In book number 10, chapter number 71, verse number 4, that though they see the word, they see it not. Though they hear the word, they hear not.